Hello, I'm Jillian Jorgensen. I'm the Education Director at Book It Repertory Theatre. My name is Nora and I'm in sixth grade. My name is Ruchi and I'm in second grade. For today's lesson, we will explore a cause and effect story called Hatch, Egg, Hatch. To do this story, you'll need a lot of imagination and a few props. We are making a nest out of blank note cards or paper. And on those, we'll be drawing pictures of things that can hatch. You can use markers or crayons or pencils, anything you like to make your drawings. You'll also need something that looks a little bit or a lot like an egg. It can be something that you already have in your house or a rock or a stone, or you can make one up out of paper or even a squishy sponge. Any of those things will work to make your nest and your egg. Hey Nora, what are some things you think you might draw on your note cards of things that hatch? Well, I could put like things that would hatch, like maybe a bird, a snake, a, some sort of animal, or things that wouldn't, like pizza, flowers, <laughs> unicorns, blue tape. <gasps> yes, that is definitely something that I would like an egg that hatched blue tape. Would you, um, <laughs> what are some other things you think you might draw? Uh, a bean bag. Oh, yeah, sure. And a, um, hmm. It's okay. Some a book. A book. A hatching yes. book. Okay, a I hatching. love it. I love it. All right, we are going to take our time. Tape, and sticking with blue tape. Okay. We are going to take our time to draw those things. But for you watching, it will take no time at all. All right, we're getting ready to build our nest. Nora and Ruchi and I each drew on our own card things we might thought might hatch out of nests. Some things serious, some things not so much. I drew a sock and a bird. And there's part of the nest right there. Nora, what did you make? I drew a happy cloud, mm -hmm. a angry fire monster, and a chicken. Thank you. Ruchi, what did you draw? I drew water that it's rolling his eyes and a little puffball fox. A puffball fox. Look at that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different stories we can tell right there. We can also use this as our nest for an egg that might hatch on its own. Oh, Ruchi, I see you've got that soft cloth. Will you put the soft cloth right in the middle? All right. Sometimes our story ideas come from just our heads, and sometimes they come from working together to make an object that gives us a, a more heart idea to how a story could work. How's it coming, Ruchi? Good. Okay, good. Here we go. So we have our story idea cards that are making the border of the nest to keep our eggs safe. And then Ruchi has put together the cloth that is just ready for the nest, for the May egg. May the egg? Yes. We are using a stone egg in our home. You could use anything you want as long as there's an agreement with your family of what to use. It might be cool to use a real egg, but it might also be very messy. <laughs> Here you go. I'm going to tuck it in. Make okay. The egg tucked in. All right. Thank you, Ruchi. Okay, so we have our story cards and our gentle nest. And we thought of three magical ways that this egg might hatch. Nora, will you show your idea? You could play it a little song. Yeah, and Nora, I heard like an extra story in that story, almost the story of how when the song faltered, what might that do to the egg? Ruchi, what idea did you come up with? Yeah, a bird call. A bird calling to the nest. Or something like a soft wing or wind. Oh, right. So thinking about the outside of the environment, just from these ideas right here. Let's show them what we came up with as a family. We found a way to make bird patterns with our hand. They look pretty similar if you've ever made shadow birds. We've got our bird head with our thumbs together and our bird wings. Yeah, they do. The shadows on this really do look like birds. They do. And we thought of a way to almost make a bird hatching play. Just a tiny bit of it. Here it is. 
Hatch, little bird, hatch, little bird, hatch, little bird, hatch. Hatch, little bird, hatch, little bird, hatch, little bird, hatch. Hatch, little bird, hatch, little bird, hatch, little bird, hatch. Hatch, little bird, hatch. What could happen next? When we release our hands up, what could be under there? It's still our egg, but it could be anything. Nora, what would you want to do next with this? Would you want to write it down, act it out, draw it? I would act it out. You would act it out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ruchi, what would you do? Would you act it out? And I want you to pause for a moment on that exciting cuckoo whistle. Would you want to act it out, draw it, or write it out as a whole story? <coughs> act it out. Draw it. Oh, yeah. <coughs> draw it. And I would write it because that is my favorite thing to do. I love writing stories. Nora loves acting stories. And Rucha loves drawing stories. And we came up with all of those ways from these story cards that we drew of things that might hatch, making a gentle nest and putting an egg inside it. All different ways to hatch your imagination. Some of my favorite stories are ones with birds in them, especially birds that can transform into people. It makes me curious about the world. What makes you curious? In Hatch, Egg, Hatch, I was able to do that story with my kids, Nora and Ruchi. You can do this story with your family, your friends, or your neighbors, or even all by yourself. Happy creating!